What up, happy people? Um, I'm outside uh, spraying some insecticidal soap on my grapevine. Yeah, I did show you guys my grapevine. The grapes are getting bigger. This is year two. There's some right here. There are some right here. <laughs> uh, some here. And those are pretty much the only three left. Um, not left, but the only three there. Um, I'm thinking about pulling up my garlic. I've had it in there for quite some time now, but I never really know when is garlic, you know, done. Um, my squash are getting bigger. They even have a couple squash on there. Look at this one. Hope you guys can see it, it's yellow. It's turning yellow anyway. I've had some vine borers over here, um, putting their eggs, the moth, the, the moth anyway, laying its eggs. Um, I am, I did, I did put down some things, some couple of things, um, tips for to try to kind of mask those a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna work, but the first one is like aluminum foil. Um, here is the aluminum foil. Actually, you wanna know what? I believe it is working, so see that I'll uncover it. Um, you see the aluminum foil? So you just wanna wrap that around there. Um, so that way the vine board doesn't lay its eggs right in there. Um, because you know, if it destroys the main stem, then pretty much your whole crops is gone. But I mean, you could start over because it's really early in the season. Um, and usually they stop laying their eggs late summer, like July, not, not like late summer, July. So, but I believe there's two, two seasons that they have. Anyway, hopefully mine stop about mid July, beginning August, whichever one. That would be good. Um, the next one is onions. I heard onions are really good. So I planted, I took some of my onions from on that side and I put them here and they're all within. And I haven't had, I haven't had that many vine borers lay their eggs. I have in this spot right here, this one right here um, and on this one. And it was about, I want to say all together, maybe five eggs total. And of course, the third one is mulch. You want to mulch, mulch it down, cover up as much as you can. Because this part, yeah, if they get into like the stem, you can kind of like cut that and that'd be really, really easy. But that bottom part, like I was saying, once they get up in there, that gets a little harder. And I know there's this, some other stuff that you can put in there. Um, I forgot what it's called. Um, I'm gonna try to link it. And uh, a lot of people do like injections of it and it kills the vine borer. Uh, but these are also tips for squash bugs as well. I believe the maybe the onion is for the squash bug. But yeah, like I said, this is my first year trying any of these. Last year, I only had one squash. We, it, we got a lot of squash off of that one but it had took it down and I was like, what happened? What happened to my stuff? I was so sad, but I wasn't gonna start over cause I didn't, I, I didn't do a lot of research on it. But this year I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, my tomatoes are getting so big. I put some, if you see like little brown, I put cinnamon on. On, a, on the leaves because ants were trying to take over. And you know, uh, I believe it's aphids right at the back of ants, or they take them there so that way they can um, pretty much hoard, not hoard them, um, what's the name? Um, push them to there, pretty much. They uh, I can't even think of the name of the word right now. Anyway, um, I have some, my peppers are 
getting some peppers. Remember these are, I had these more than six weeks. So about, I had them like 12 or so weeks before I put them outside because of the um, six weeks, six extra weeks of winter. And that's the only reason why they're so big and have peppers on them now. Still waiting for eggplants. I have purple flowers. Purple flower. I have some flowers here. Well, actually this one, yeah, that's a flower. Yeah. Um, my onions are looking good. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep spraying, I'm trying to do as much preventative, natural preventative as possible. That way, I don't have a lot of pests, especially with my chickadees, because I know spider mites, I believe that those um, get on the chickens. They are right there just chilling. They hear the dog next door. Oh, and I bought them a pool so I can do their dust bath. It's up there. Yeah, they're little, I just need to get some wood ash or something, something to put in there. I have some diatomaceous earth that I'll put inside um, of the bath. And then I wanna try to do some kind of cover so that way when it's raining, it doesn't mess it up. That would be really, really good. Uh, and, oh yeah, and the corn. The corn is holding up as well. It has gotten really, really big. Oh my gosh, that dog scared me. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it.